Good afternoon, everybody. My name's uh, Jason McNulty. I'm the Managing Director of Titus Australasia, uh, which encompasses uh, various, the various Titus entities down in, in Australasia. Today, we'll be showcasing product um, within the Titus Tech Farm and Stefano Alighi product groups. We'll be presenting four short videos that explain four of our major product categories. Um, at the end of each one of those, you'll be able to interact and ask questions via a live feed. And at the end of this, we'll be also giving you an insight and a sneak peek into products that we are preparing to launch in, in 2022. First of all, and, and we, get, we get asked this quite, quite often, um, and if you lived in the Northern Hemisphere, you'd be only too aware of who Titus were and their relationship to the kitchen and furniture industry. Down in the Southern Hemisphere, we, we're somewhat of a sleeping giant. So I'd just like to take you through a, a short presentation of, of the Titus Group worldwide. Who are we? Well, we have 900 employees. We turn over about 160 million euros, and we produce about 3 billion pieces per annum. We would be recognized, as I say, in the Northern Hemisphere, specifically in Europe and, and America, as one of the leading suppliers to, to the top OEM kitchen and furniture manufacturers. We have five of the top six manufacturers in our portfolio who purchase various hinges, uh, draw systems and connectors off us. We would be known initially as a connector manufacturer. We, we launched very, very early in the, in the 70s riding on the back of, of the, the RTA market in, the, in Europe and specifically in the UK. Our first product, you'd be, you'd be well aware of the high-low screw. That was an original Titus product way back in 1973. We then migrated then to design uh, the Cannon Dow systems that, you, that you're aware today and I'm sure m most of you use and, and have within your furniture at home. And through the 80s and 90s, we continue to manufacture those in-house at our UK branches and in America. And then in the mid-2000s, we purchased uh, Llama um, and Huel. You will know from the Huel um, lifter program. Um, and then the Llama hinge facility in, in Slovenia was purchased late in 2006. On top of that, um, in around 2009, we developed um, Titus, the Titus damper, which is is, is world-renowned as being the leading in, in short to medium dampers. We expected that in every home you would have upwards of 50 dampers, whether it be, you know, from, from your common old garden toilet seat to um, ovens and, and various other facilities, and even in, in, aut even in automobiles, your hand dress, et cetera, et cetera. They'll generally have a Titus damper, and we expect to have 50 in, in every home around the world for Titus dampers. 2014, closer to home down in Australia, we purchased Techform. And then 2016, we purchased Stefano Alati. Late in 2015 and 2016, we developed the TPH hinge for IKEA and the T-type Titus hinge range that, that you're all aware and use today. Um, in 2017, we, we launched the, the, the Intism kitchen strategy, which, which integrated our new in-house draw system with the hinge and with the connector to give a, a complete suite of, of, of kitchen connection and, and products. And then in 2020, we purchased Siemen, Siemen Kinetics, um, who manufacture, once again, dampers and the, the new push-to-open Titus system that we launched this year has Titus kin uh, Siemen, Siemen Kinetic dampers within the, the push-to-open mechanism. So who are Titus? Well, Titus are not only manufacturers of connectors, hinges, and, and, and drawers. We're also an engineering company. We design and, we, um, and we, we manufacture turnkey production lines for various automotive companies um, and various companies within our, within our own hinge industry. So it's, it's Titus' visions to be in the world's best engineering for precision, precision components. We are a precision die caster. We do manufacture precision die casting machines. We're one of only two companies in the world who do that. Um, and we, we aim to provide manufacturers with component solutions 
that improve that improve competitiveness and, and you're probably aware of, of the CAF principles within the tightest product groups. So the product groups itself, well obviously we've got the tightest cabinet hardware, it encompasses our drawer systems, uh, kitchen accessories, furnished connectors is, is, our, is our core business as, as well as concealed hinges. And then we have the tightest damping portfolio where we supply to, to third party companies dampers to, to um, integrate into their own products from, um, from systems as, as, as diverse as, as oven hinges to pool gates, you name it, it's generally got a tightest damper in it. And then we have the tightest technologies section. Tightest technologies is a company that manufactures precision die casting machines um, for third parties and automated turnkey assembly lines and tooling to go with those die casting machines and those assembly lines. We also obviously have the ultrasonic, uh, the ultrasound tight sonic uh, fastening systems, which is patented by Tigers. So where are target markets? Obviously, it's some of you guys in, in the brand of furniture hardware, OEM hardware, as, as I previously stated, we've probably got five of the top six kitchen manufacturers in the world. And also through Titus Technologies, we have heavy links into automotive industries, die casting, supplying people like Audi, Mitsubishi, Bentley, etc., etc. And then white goods. Obviously, the 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 um, evolution of the of the oven with soft close hinges has led to another revenue stream for Titus. So how do we get there? Well, we've had significant growth year on year peaking at 160 euros for the 2021 um, from an from a initial standpoint of, of 95 million euros in 2014. And as I said there, Titus Technologies, which is a, a, another stream to, to the Titus Group, and that's just one or two of our key customers. As I said previously, Bentley, Peugeot, Mitsubishi, you know, most of the, uh, the turbochargers that use on the engines generally have been die-casted on, on a Lama caster. And automation systems. So, fast fit, um, internal internal insertion for IKEA of, of cams and dowels and, and and various assembly lines for dampers and for hinges for some of our our competitors as well as, well as um, companies in other industries of uh, machines that we supply. Um, and like I say, it's 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 to not only um, automotive companies but but companies within our own industry. And as we said previously, we, we manufacture and design um, the Lama Caster. There's, there's only two major companies that, that do precision die casting. When I talk about precision die casting, Cam, a Cam and a Dowel is a precision die casting piece of equipment. Um, we manufacture the machines. Not only do we make the Cams and Dowels, we manufacture the machines that make them and the tooling that goes um, alongside those for ourselves and for other manufacturers and toolings, toolings integrated within that. And then we have Titasonic. Um, probably you've all seen the, the various Titasonic videos and it is a little like alchemy. Um, we have a system that if anybody knows anything about ultrasonics, you have to, you have to touch something to meld it in an ultrasonic um, environment to pass um, sound waves, very high frequency, very high repetitive through the product to make that product change its, its solid state, i.e. melt, etc. Well, Titasonic is unique in the fact that you don't actually have to touch the, the plastic that is being melted, and we, we integrate that into, into a cabinet manufacturing technology that, that, that instantaneously welds um, chipboard cabinets together. So that's just a little presentation on who we are. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed today. Um, there's three or four key key segments that we'd like to you to have a look at, um, and I'll leave it up to the the guys to present these, and then I'll uh, I'll I'll speak to you at the end. Thank you. So uh, the hinge presentation and the novelties that Titus is presenting uh, uh, today. Uh, let's say can only start with our flagship product which is a t-type hinge 
The TTIP hinge, and since its introduction in 2017, has been, uh, let's say, grown in the, in the range and uh, with adding, let's say, more products uh, to the family. Uh, and it has been proven to uh, fulfill demanding uh, market requirements. Uh, and it's mostly fitted today in uh, upscale kitchen, bedroom, living room, furniture, and it offers uh, many benefits uh, to the fitters on one side and manufacturers as well as to consumers. The range has been completed, uh, let's say, with all various uh, hinge uh, uh, corner applications or applications in general from uh, 30, 45 degree blind corner hinges. We have an excellent and very versatile bifold hinge for kitchen pie cut corner units, for example. And uh, 95 degree tick door hinge has been added uh, uh, recently and 120 degree opening angle hinge for the wider opening of the cabinets when you need uh, a, such, a, such a feature. Uh, uh, everything is, let's say, uh, made in, a, uh, let's say, in a different uh, kinematics, the tick door hinge and 120 hinge, so to uh, perform to the best uh, in those uh, special, special applications. All the T-type range is based on um, a very large platform of the base plates, which are a cruciform base plate or cruciform cam adjustable base plates, as well as a, as a linear base plate. So the range is really uh, complete and offers a lot of choice for most of the applications in the cabinet. So there are, let's say, other, let's say, two new uh, applications that are added to this platform of uh, T-type hinges and more about that will um, NA will explain this explain it to us thank you NA. Okay. thank you Dan so uh, I would uh, first like uh, to start with our freeway clip-on system on um, on our t-type hinge um, which uh, you can uh, clip on in three different directions from the front from the back and with a light push of uh, the palm of your uh, hand, um, you can clip it also uh, from the top. Um, this uh, benefits uh, mostly when uh, um, the door of the cabinet you're using uh, houses three or more hinges, or in a tall door, maybe on the top you have uh, two hinges very, very close together. And um, so it's, uh, it's, very, um, it's very tough to uh, hook and uh, clip uh, the, uh, the two hinges that are very, um, very close uh, to each other. The second thing is uh, Titus Confident Close um, uh, way of, uh, of developing uh, hinges and how they should perform. Um, this means that uh, uh, the Confident Close uh, consists actually of multiple parts. First thing is that the um, closing or the decelerating action of the, um, of the door closing. So the hinge starts uh, damping very, uh, very late. It means that the door closes very fast. Um, the second thing um, is the um, uh, the way how the damper is uh, tuned with uh, this uh, premium hinge, which, um, which means that uh, at the very last few degrees, um, the, the damping action is, um, is stronger, which means that the door will, um, will slowly, very slowly close at the very end and with, uh, with, um, uh, with the soft landing of the door against uh, the carcass. Uh, another thing that uh, I must point out uh, here is the highly tolerant uh, feature of, uh, of T-type hinge, which, um, which benefits on, on one side if uh, um, there may be some mis-drilling, um, uh, if it happens on the hinge cup or on the, on the base plate. Um, so it doesn't uh, really matter if there is some slight uh, misdrilling there, you will still be able to um, clip uh, the, um, the hinge onto its mounting plate and uh, the performance will not be affected at all. 
Uh, the fourth thing I would like you uh, to present or point out today is, uh, is something uh, very new uh, from side to side. So the premium T-type hinge uh, has been now upgraded to 200,000 uh, cycles. So 200,000 opening and closing, which results roughly around 25 years of, uh, a, typical, um, of a typical cabinet usage in uh, uh, used in um, uh, in a kitchen. So we can see here um, the old and the new uh, uh, the new hinge. So uh, at the uh, outside, the looks are exactly the same. Uh, what uh, we at Titus did is that we um, upgraded uh, the the inside part of the uh, self closing mechanism. Um, so. Um, this means that uh, with this upgrade, um, we we are able. Our T-type hinge is now able to um, uh, to give us uh, uh, two hundred thousand cycles of uh, opening and closing uh, action. So, as I said, roughly twenty-five years of uh, of normal usage in uh, in a kitchen cabinet. Then, okay, Nate, thank you. So yes, the 200,000 openings uh, uh, is guaranteed will be very soon another strong point uh, uh, in uh, uh, Titus uh, Hinge. And uh, at the same time, it is a commitment from Titus uh, to always bring you a quality product with, that are made to last. The other, the next, let's say, um, uh, novelties or let's say the product that we are uh, uh, proposing to the market, bringing to the market, has nothing to do with the very technical part of the uh, feature of the hinge. It is more about, let's say, uh, the surface and the appearance. And um, uh, all, let's say, these new products have been, let's say, prepared in response to the growing demand for the uh, darker or black, let's say, cabinet hardware that is coming from the market. And uh, Terra Black, with its, let's say, uh, finish, uh, delivers a market-leading solution that combines visual appeal with a genuine and valuable uh, product benefits. So Terra Black stands for Titus Enhanced Resistance Application. And Terra Black is more than just a color. It is an engineered solution that supported by a highly controllable, repeatable and efficient manufacturing uh, process uh, allows for a consistency throughout the life cycle of the product. The, uh, Finishing process result in a, in a uniform uh, surface that absorbs light and uh, because it is a, a matte finish and reduces the reflection, combining the black matte color uh, together with a special anti-corrosion resistance, which is another feature with the, with the hinge. The Terra Black with a highly uh, uniform black matte surface without any reflection complements and enhances different, uh, let's say, styles, uh, standard and trendy furniture designs in a kitchen, in bedroom, in a bathroom or office. So almost in every, uh, in every let's say, uh, kind of a furniture. The Terra Black is uh, applied to our widely popular T-type hinges and a wide range of other fittings. So it is not only the, um, uh, let's say, the hinges itself, where let's say there's a range of uh, T-type hinges uh, prepared and uh, made in Terra Black finish, but it also involves, let's say, other fittings like the push latches, shelf supports, connectors, and uh, similar. So these are the two main features, the 200,000 openings uh, that on, on technical side, uh, let's say, brings uh, an important, uh, let's say, value and commitment from the company on the other side, a Terra Black with the appearance and finish to match uh, something with an innovative look that doesn't, uh, let's say, uh, exist on the market yet to, pre to uh, let's say, offer this uh, combination between, uh, between a darker matte look and uh, finishes.
I'm just here um, to answer any questions uh, from, from you guys. So if you have any questions, please feel free. Um, is the Terra Black range only available in hinges? Okay. <clears throat> the Terra Black hinge will probably release in February. Now they'll ship just prior to, to uh, the Christmas break. But no, we'll have more. We'll, we'll be supporting. We'll be supporting the hinge with um, shelf supports, uh, with push latches, with um, with other 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 components like uh, fasteners. We'll bring some screws out in Terra Black. And the whole thing is that um, Terra Black also then um, works in with our anthracite uh, drawers, with our anthracite uh, innerware. So we will be um, bringing. To, to the market, a range of um, uh, anthracite terra black fittings, so your kitchens can have uh, a standard look through the whole uh, installation. And what is terra black? Uh, yeah, right. Uh, I think um, Diane actually explained it pretty well. It's it's not just another nickel plate finish, that's for sure. So it's an enhanced resistance application, and uh, what it is, it's a finishing pro uh, process that provides a velvet surface that absorbs light, uh, reduces reflection, and it combines a matte black colour uh, together with a special anti-corrosion uh, protection. Like I said, it's not just another um, uh, nickel, black nickel hinge. It's a completely different system. Yeah, any other questions? That's it. Thanks. Okay, thank you. I hope you enjoy the rest of the uh, presentation. Hi and welcome everyone. Thank you so much for joining us at the Titus product stage. My name is Igor Bergant and in this section we will talk about the latest and most innovative push to open systems for handless cabinets developed by Titus engineers. We invite you to chat with our engineers and specialists if you have any additional questions. Cabinets without handles are nowadays a standard part of the product portfolio for manufacturers of kitchens, bathrooms, living rooms and other interiors. There are considerable fashionable features that appeal to many consumers. Also, we can see obvious practical advantages for hygienic cleaning and no protrusion into living spaces. But there are also efficiency gains for manufacturers from reduced complexity in terms of manufacturing processes and stock management. And we have exciting news. Recently, Titus complemented its push latch technology know-how with the push-to-open expertise of the Kinetics division from the German company Simon Group by Exposition. So this year we would like to introduce the most innovative push-to-open solutions for drawers, pull-out organizers, cabinet doors, hinge furniture doors and interior sliding doors available on the market today. Let's see what these new solutions are. We have here with us Titus experts in push-to-open systems to talk us through this exciting topic. They are Christian Cagliani, Group Development Manager, who has a lot of experience in research and development and process engineering of precision components. He directs the product design process and as product manager, he looks after the Titus portfolio of drawers. And Aaron Thompson, Titus TechForm State Manager of Victoria in Australia, who has 20 years of experience in kitchen and furniture hardware sales, working closely with major kitchen uh, manufacturers and builders to improve consumer experience in their home and kitchen. Drawers are for sure a must, right Christian? Our push to open system for drawers is a universal, flexible and modular concept which provides a push to open function not only to double wall drawers but also to various pull-out systems and wire baskets. We can confidently say that the, this system stands out in terms of its efficiency. It's a one for all. One mechanism fits various drawer sizes and is assembled with a fast, intuitive place and fix mounting. It's important to mention that the system is a hydrate tolerant, which assures a reliable performance even if not all the drillings and installation are perfectly done. The system enables the operation of drawers with the lowest wrong gap available in the market, given an attractive design. The gap is only 1.5 mm between the front and the carcass. So this is obviously yet another example of Titus CAF, consumer assembly friendliness philosophy. Yes, we can absolutely say that. Let's see Tactus Zimline in action with our Techform Zimline drawer. Uh, 
Let me introduce uh, Zim9 Tacto. It's an accessory designed by Titus uh, for uh, operating drawer without a hand handle. It's a really compact uh, head-on system. Head-on because it can be assembled anytime on a Zimline drawer. It's a one-for-all uh, system because uh, we develop uh, in a way that uh, one item can fit to any drawer size. And uh, it's uh, user-friendly because it's uh, really integrated uh, into our drawer. And uh, he has uh, one activator already assembled in a, in a runner in order that the customer has not to think about anything. The design is, is really smart because uh, is uh, no hand the design so the left and the right uh, part are, are exactly the same and the self positioning uh, is uh, uh, avoiding a customer to use any kind of uh, jigs now we are going uh, to look at uh, much more uh, details thanks to uh, blush explanation please thank you christian hello everybody so christian has explained us the main features of our touch opening solution and now we will look through the product range. We offer touch opening solution called Tacto Slimline for our Tech Forum Slimline drawers from uh, depths 400 till 550 by 50 millimeter increments. It can be combined with any kind of any of four drawer heights in white color. An important information is the packaging. We follow one skew, one full application uh, principle, meaning that for drawer you order one item number and you get all the parts necessary to assemble one full application. The same goes for Tacto Slimline, our touch opening solution. Now we will show you a short animation video with uh, the assembly instructions and some features. I will try to guide you through the video. At the beginning we have some features that Christian has already explained and at the first shot we will see how the touch opening mechanism is positioned underneath the drawer. We will continue with the assembly process or how the whole concept is built uh, together. So we have runners where the activator is integrated on. The blue lines are showing the activator and next to them is the uh, next to them was the tacto mechanism. We have kept the same uh, runner mounting position as with all our standard drawers. You can easily put, as Christian explained, non-handed designed mechanisms onto the bottom of the drawer and screw them on. You can um, clip the drawer onto the runners very easily following a simple click and operate the application with a simple touch on the middle of the front panel. If you want to align uh, operating gap which is the gap between cabinet and drawer front panel you can do that underneath the drawer rotating the screw once again simple touch on the middle of the front panel and the drawer is opened by itself and once again some important features thank you now with us we have Aaron, who will tell us more about uh, the Australian market expectations. Here in Australia there's an obvious design trends towards slick lines and elegant free cabinets, creating an increasing appeal of push to open. I can say it probably follows the trend of soft clothes. Every movement in the home today must be silent, soft and as effortless as possible. It's a natural progression. In most situations push open design is determined by architects and furniture designers. At least I can say that for the Australian market. All big projects recently focused on handle-free elegance and practicality. Designers and architects are avoiding the use of handles and this is where push-open solutions play an integral role. We are being asked more and more for push-open systems because architects demand it and they demand it for every cabinet of every room of the home. Yes, it also solves some production and efficiency problems, but predominantly push-open solutions are being driven by design here in Australia. Well, I couldn't agree more, Aaron. 
Uh, thank you for your evaluation of the Australian market. We see that there is a growing demand for furniture systems that are easier and more comfortable to operate. At Titus, their focus is engineering with a purpose. Furniture manufacturers can really choose from a wide variety of innovative solutions to provide their customers with dependable, comfortable and easy to operate furniture options. Today, we can see a wide range for possibilities for handless furniture, which have been designed for quick and uh, easy assembly, as well as for consistent and reliable performance during the entire life cycle. I hope Titus experts provided you with answers and insights in the innovative push to open solutions. We thank you for your time. I'm Igor Bergand and I hope we see you on our next presentation. Thanks for coming back or joining us. Um, just want to quickly talk about Tacto and answer some questions if you have any. But you know, we've had the Tacto, which is our push to open uh, draw system in Australia. We've been selling it now for about four months. And, and we've had some very good success with it. Our sales are strong and it certainly filled the gap that we had in our, um, our uh, product offer. So, um, do we have any questions on Tacto? What is the narrowest operating gap? Okay, the narrow, narrowest operating gap for our system is 1.5 millimetre. But the actual mechanism when it comes supplied to you is set at 2 mil. So you have uh, a millimetre of adjustment in or you have 2 millimetre adjustment further out. So, yeah. Any other questions? Okay. Um, what draws does the tacto mechanism work with? Okay, we're currently... Um, we're currently bringing the, the Tacto in uh, with drawers, all, all the heights that we have, 70, uh, one, uh, 100, 150 and 182. Uh, and they work from nominal length of uh, 400 millimeter up to our 500 millimeter draw. Okay. And what is the widest recommended draw width? Okay. We, in our standard range of slimline, uh, we recommend 900 millimeter as the maximum width for our draw. But with Tacto, um, we're, we're bringing that back to 800 millimeter because it's not a synchronized product at the moment. So just at the moment, 800 millimeter width operating width is uh, what we currently recommend.
Welcome back. Um, we just want to quickly go through, or speak on the um, folding and sliding offers that we have, and any questions from the audience after watching the video. Um, we have a we have a folding a folding system, two doors maximum width 600 millimeter. You know, applications are mainly for um, um, partitioning off uh, laundry spaces in in small apartments and studios. In, at the end of the presentation today, we'll also talk about new products and we are taking this to the next level with better adjustments and a few other um, refinements. At the moment we have this, uh, it's the, we call it SET F400. We've, we've been selling it for about two years now. It does very well. SET 100, sorry, SET 200 though, um, is a, a Titus product. So it's a, it's a bottom rolling, top guided, um, wardrobe system and it, it, it has um, a soft closing option a soft closing option if you want it so the door shuts hold it shut no bounce back soft close front and back we're also working on a center soft close for um for a three door application so if there's any questions on the system uh, what materials is the system designed to be used with okay um so any decorative faced um, chipboard product um, or MDF or timber, uh, natural timber or veneers uh, from um, down to 16 millimeter and maximum of about 22 millimeter. Okay. What is the uh, maximum door weight? Uh, each door, each, uh, each set of hardware will run a door up to 50 kilograms. Okay. How does the system come packed? So, we have um, a three-door and a two-door package of hardware. comes complete with fixing screws, rolling, rolling products, actuators, guides at the top. Um, so, like I said, there's a two-door pack and a three-door pack, poly, poly bagged, and there's 25 in a carton, you know, in an in a alpha box. Then we sell the uh, track in, uh, in sets, so bottom and top track, three-meter lengths. Um, Obviously, they're packed separately. And uh, the soft clothes is an optional extra, and that can be purchased as a, as a separate item. Any other questions? Yep. Um, where can I get more information on the installation of the system? Okay. Um, you saw, you saw the um, installation video just recently. That's available on our website for downloading. Also on the website is the catalogue showing, showing our sliding and folding systems. And the installation drawings are also in PDF form on the uh, website. Thank you very much.
welcome back again. Uh, the last set of videos was uh, on our side of plaques in a wear range. Um, this is a new product for us. Probably got stock uh, halfway through the year, maybe a little bit earlier. Been a, a great success. So, side of plaques, Italian company. Um, the, uh, the product is anthracite and finish, great match with our, our draw system. Um, it, um, it comes with solid bases and these solid uh, sides. Uh, the bases have a drop-in mat that is supplied with the system, cuts down on drumming and noise, also stops things from rattling around when you open and close the system. Soft close, of course. I mean, we have um, small, small space solutions, but we also have a range of corner type one corner solutions, like this full out unit. So it brings everything out to you. Once again, drop in mats, anthracite to to um, to uh, work well with our draw system. Um, yeah, um, it's it's a very nice product. Uh, any questions? Yeah, do all of the units in the range have solid bases? Uh, yes, yes, all of them do. Um, the quadra part of the range has uh, steel, uh, steel baskets, so they have uh, metal bases and a drop-in mat. The, um, the, the, the kidney-shaped roll-out Oliveira product has a, has a, uh, a wood base, a melamine face base. And how close is the colour of the innerwear system to our draw system? One of the reasons we chose this product is because it matches our um, metal draw range very well. Uh, the the sl slim double wall drawer in anthracite, if you fit your kitchen out using this type of hardware, uh, it, it, it complements uh, our dark uh, drawer system. And with Terra Black coming next year, we'll be able to do a kitchen that um, has a, a dark look throughout it. So, any other questions? Thank you very much. I'm just going to take you through some of the new products for next year. So the big thing for us next year uh, is, is further developments in our hinge range. Uh, we're working on an integrated uh, dampening system for our 170 degree hinges. At the moment it's an add-on product, um, but um, uh, our engineers are working on, on ways to put the dampers inside the hinge arm. Probably we won't see it till the end of next year, but it's certainly well down the track in um, development. And a little bit further down the track, we're also looking at developing much smaller dampers that will go into um, the hinge cup, and that'll allow us to make changes to the uh, uh, actuating paddle uh, that, that sits in the hinge cup. Probably that's going to be a, a little bit further down the track than next year. We already have damping solutions for our own um, set 200 uh, wardrobe track, but what we're, what we're working on also is a range of um, dampers for uh, our customers' proprietary track. There are plenty of wardrobe manufacturers out there that have their own systems and have had their own systems for a long time. Don't want to change. We would like to provide a damping system that works well with other than our own uh, track systems. So we're looking at uh, both a, a, a double, a double uh, door solution as well as uh, a central door solution, three door solution. That's very close. We'll probably be able to bring that into the country prior to uh, June this year. Fittings, Titus is a, is a major manufacturer of connectors. Um, we're working on our second generation of System 6. System 6 is a face board product. Uh, we've had it for a long time. Um, once again, with the, the wardrobe theme, it's a, it's, a, it's a very popular fitting for wardrobe manufacturers. Um, we've changed the design, a bit more contemporary, squarer look. We've made improvements in the, um, in the housing, the ribs on the housing to prevent uh, rotation. Um, the angle of the the angle of the drive, when you, when you want to tighten the product or loosen the product, we've increased that out to about 24 degrees. And of course, uh, like uh, all our um, connectors, 
uh, it works with um, quick fit dowels and expanding technology. Wardrobe still. Um, Set 200 has been quite successful for us. Um, but what we want to do is expand the extrusion range. We want to we want an extruded handle um, that uh, matches the um, that matches the uh, current uh, extruded aluminium parts, matches the same anodizing. We're going to introduce matte black in the range. Uh, we're looking also for a um, for a joining strip for joining different panels together, uh, so that you can uh, design more elegant looking doors. And once again, uh, that's fairly well down the design road and we'll be introducing that fairly early in the new year. Then to sort of complete our wardrobe offer a bit, uh, we're looking at a range of uh, designer internals for wardrobes. Um, so yeah, so we're looking at, um, once again, this anthracite look, maybe teamed with timber, um, organisation for, for, you know, jewellery jewelry drawers, uh, for small items in the um, in the in the top drawer of a wardrobe, perhaps. Then, of course, storage drawers, racks for uh, hanging uh, trousers and the like, pull-down units, and, and and other internals. To um to move on, uh, sliding and folding. Uh, our current our current um, Bifold uh, uh, door system has, has done very well for us, but we're looking to, to move to a, a slightly um, uh, more, um, with, with a product with a few more features like better, better adjustments up and down for the, for the, for the doors, better um, gap adjustment, that sort of thing. Um, and also uh, a system that will allow us to swing four doors uh, off, a, off a, uh, a carcass end rather than just the two. So that's, that's that. The uh, prototypes for that are uh, on their way, and once again next year you'll probably see those hit the market. And the other, the other product is um, a high, uh, is a sliding hideaway uh, door system, uh, pocket doors, so they open, slide back out of the way, and um, you know we're looking at those for um, you know laundry laundry uh, laundry areas uh, where you know, for small small apartments and uh, studio apartments. We've got push to open door mechanisms. We've got, we've got uh, push to open uh, drawers now. We've got a nice range, but what we don't have is a push to open waste bin. So we've just opened uh, a product development um, project in working with uh, our current TACTO push to open mechanism and working in with a bin manufacturer, uh, we're going to bring a, a range of push to open bins to the market, um, probably by uh, January, uh, sorry, by June, July next year. Um, there's a bit of work to be done on this, but uh, we're pretty sure with the uh, cooperation we have with our bin manufacturer that uh, that'll, that'll uh, proceed uh, smoothly. We've recently bought a company in Germany that uh, um, uh, manufactures product for the uh, RV industry, um, and some of their innovations are quite uh, well. Some of the new products are quite innovative, um, uh, locking systems, both magnetic and and manual, and we'll be certainly bringing those into the country and uh, making ourselves known to the uh, RV industry. Thanks, Mike. Thanks for that. Yeah, um, and just to conclude, as far as the uh the new products for next year are concerned. We'll be extending our our Aura brand into um, into an, a, a new portfolio of product. We launched Aura in 2020, late 2020. It's focused more on the design architect market, um, certainly multi-room, and we'll be um, adding a number of, of, of products to that over the next um, six to 12 months. Okay, guys. That, uh, that concludes the presentation today. Um, I'd just like to thank everybody for attending um, our short presentation. If you, if you like any of the products, if you want any more information on products, if you stay on the call, um, we'll have a page where you can download any brochures, you can um, 
organize a meeting with, with your local sales representative, etc. Um, so stay on after the call and, and you can you can pick up um, pick up information on, on the various items.